should ride this train together. Three of a kind. Birds of a feather. Now and forever. La 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 Anyways, we are now on to issue number two for the Halloween Town Express collection. Before getting into the tender, this issue comes in a large white box. There's nothing special except for the Bradford Exchange logo. Inside the box, we have an ad for more track, a manual, and a certificate of authenticity. However, mine came with three. Underneath, we have the track, power pack, tender, and the tender sculpture in a foam box. There is also a wire for track accessories. As for the tender itself, it is made of plastic with plastic wheels. As for the paint scheme, the tender is painted black with gold lining on the top and reddish orange stripe on the bottom. The trucks, however, are painted in gold. On the sides of the tender, you have the Halloween Town Express in a glow-in-the-dark decal. As for details, there isn't a whole lot. What we do have is molded in rivets on the body and on top of the tender. Also on the body are molded in handrails. At the top of the tender, we have a molded coal load and a water hatch. At the bottom, we have step ladders on both ends. And as for the trucks, we have just molded spring work. The tender is also equipped with a plastic sprung knuckle coupler. As for the sculpture, we have lock, shock, and barrel inside a pile of pumpkins made of resin. The pumpkins are an orangish brown with various faces. The mouth and eyes of the pumpkins also have glow-in-the-dark paint. As for the trio, they are painted in the same as their movie counterparts. Their masks, however, are also painted over with a glow-in-the-dark paint. However, in my case, Barrel might have gotten a little too much. As for placing the sculpture on the tender, there are indents for the coal load and water hatch. In this case, Shock is on top of the coal load, while Lock is on top of the water hatch. For this running session, we will be using the track and power pack that came with the set. The track that comes with the set is the Walther's Power Lock track. It is essentially Lifelike's old snap track with a more realistic look. As for the track itself, it's fine for what it is, but you will find it hard to snap together and separate them, especially the curves. Once connected though, they do stay together. And that was issue two of the Halloween Town Express. Now that we got the first two out of the way, I'm really looking forward to the train cars as those are, in my opinion, at least worth a bit more than the Loco and Tender. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.